Ketanji Brown Jackson officially sworn in as Supreme Court Justice today, replacing Justice Stephen Breyer, who is retiring and now has done so. Before that took effect, the high court closed out their term, and they made a lot of huge decisions that really show a lot of the character of this particular Supreme Court. One of the rulings today was that migrants will not have to remain in Mexico while the U.S. considers their asylum claims, saying that the feds can keep phasing out the Trump administration policy that sent thousands of migrants back across the border. So this is one decision that did not go the way that conservatives had hoped that it would. Let's bring in Arizona Attorney General Mark Brnovich, also running for U.S. Senate in the state of Arizona. Attorney General, good to have you with us today. What was your reaction you. to this, and what did you read into the opinions about why, in particular, Roberts and Cass Kavanaugh went on the side of allowing, uh, you know, not insisting that these migrants would have to stay in Mexico. Well, thank you for having me on. And obviously, it was a very disappointing decision. You know, we were part of the coalition that was uh, trying to force the Biden administration to do whatever it can to secure our southern border. We've talked about the catastrophe and the chaos that's happening. And the Remain in Mexico policy was just one of the various rules and procedures the Biden administration has revoked, which has led to the crisis and the catastrophe. So it's very disappointing. And, you know, frankly, I am a bit worried that, especially with Justice Roberts, that sometimes they're so worried about political pressure and the blowback that they've seen in some of these other cases that an effort to look non-political, they're making decisions that I think that are, you know, contrary to uh, the law. Well, that's interesting that you say that. Um, you know, there's been a lot of questions about Justice, Chief Justice Roberts. I read a piece today that asked, you know, when he lost control of the court. Uh, which I thought was an interesting take. Um, he does seem to be one who likes to stay sort of uh, not rock the boat, which is actually Kavanaugh's words. He said, I'm a not rock the boat justice. So I thought it was interesting that they sided together on this. And I wonder, do you think that that is an element to it? Of course, we can't get into their minds, but because there was such blowback for these other decisions, and the other one today also uh, went the conservative way, do you think this was, you know, sort of a bone that was thrown? Yeah, and obviously I can't put my mind or myself in the mind of any Supreme Court justice, but the reality is, is that Justice Roberts is an institutionalist. He believes very strongly in the court as an institution. And when he sees protesters, you know, at, at justices' homes, endangering the lives, death threats coming to people like Justice Alito just for doing their job, I think that causes him a lot of concern. And what I think or what I worry is happening is that in an effort to, quote, quote, depoliticize the court, mm -hmm. he's actually making the court more political. And so I think it's a it's an unfortunate irony in his effort to try to protect the institution. He's it's times making it more political because the reality is, is that whether you're conservative or liberal, what the Biden administration is doing on our southern border and other instances, we did win the EPA case today, is they're basically trying to systematically uh, unilaterally rewrite U.S. law and undermine our border security. So the court needs to step up and make those tough decisions. That's why they have lifetime appointments. Yeah. Uh, in most of these decisions, we've seen a very originalist take, hewing to yes. the words of the Constitution and not taking it outside of that. Um, this one was a little bit different. Good to see you today. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Attorney General Mark Brnovich and Senate, Senate candidate in Arizona as well. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.